Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Wayne, and today I'm going to do something I've been wanting to do for quite a while, and that is automating my auto top-off container. Um, on more than one occasion, you know, I, I run a, a hose from my auto top-off containers, which are in a back room, with like a 20-foot hose, and I just hang it over the edge here and fill this up, and on more than one occasion, well, let me be honest, on more than 10 occasions, I've overflowed it. And also what I'm going to do is test for chlorine and chloramines to see if my carbon blocks need to be changed. I've had them in there for probably about a year now, so I'm probably going to swap these out, swap my sediment filter out, and uh, my DI resin. So let me get this, uh, this tank set up and this drill set up, and uh, we'll drill some holes and hopefully not uh, bust the tank. Alright, so here we go. I got this set up. I wanted the hole to be a little closer to the top because, you know, I don't want my water level to be halfway through this, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to drill it right about there, and then I just got some two CDs under each one of these little rubber legs just so this is sitting flat, and I hope this works. Let's rock and roll. You know what, I'm going to clamp this down. Alright, well I was having trouble going through uh, with this half inch drill bit. So what I did was I put, I had another one that was, uh, I don't know, this is probably a quarter inch. I think this is for when I, I made the new plate for my, my fish trap. So, and that blew right through. You know, I've already went through, this is my third battery. And uh, I, I stopped filming a while ago, so I just broke through with the small one. Now let's see if we can't widen this hole with the big one without cracking it. That was absolutely grueling. That probably took 45 minutes to do. But, I'd rather be safe than sorry when it comes to doing this because, you know, if you crack it, that would suck. All right, so I'm back here at my RODI system and I got my line, I got my little three-way here. What I'm gonna do is take my little handy dandy cutting tool here and you definitely want to cut these because they probably just use like snips when they cut them at the store you get a way cleaner cut using uh, using these things here so I'm just gonna clip a little bit off of each side and then I'm gonna clip this the here this right about there Shut this off so this doesn't fire up. Put this right here. This is where the clean water is coming in. Okay. And I'm going to have this one here. I like a lot of slack in my cable, so when this starts getting low and I'm making salt, I can just pick the, the end of the you know last two gallons and just dump it right into my, my other bin here. Alright, so I just kind of guessed on how much how much of this I needed, and uh, I ordered 40 feet and it looks like I'm gonna have like five feet left over, so that'll work. So I'm gonna cut this right here. here there we go man there we go this is gonna be sweet I'm not gonna have no more floods in my basement then they go up through the rafters they come down at this wall over here it comes out of the wall back behind uh, this little cabinet right here and then runs to my stand and it's filling up right here so when it gets to the top, we'll find out if we have any leaks or not, but I'll tell you what, I'm pretty happy, man. I used to just run a hose 
and have it hang over the top here. And you know, you forget about that, man. Next thing you know, my little leak detector alarm down there is going off and water's getting everywhere and it's happened on definitely more than one occasion. So I'm pretty stoked about uh, having that done. All right, now I'm gonna check for uh, chlorine and chloramines in my water to see if I need to change my carbon blocks. This is what I'm using right here. I'm gonna pull one strip out of here. Then I have a glass of fresh uh, RODI that was just made. 1001, 1002. Shake it off. And then hold it up, and I am reading zero, zero. Cool. Don't have to change my carbon blocks yet. And uh, what I wanted to do was uh, just give you a, a quick view from the tank looking down. Let me darken this up a little bit. All right, let's see what, see what we got going on here. Some of my corals are definitely starting to color up. And I got a lot of bubble algae in here. Nitrates are still a little high. So all the fish are doing really good. Hollywood's looking top notch. Holding in there like a champ. What a just just an absolutely gorgeous fish. Doesn't eat much. All he eats is seaweed, man. When I shut the flow off, everybody, the shrimp and everything, think they're gonna come out and eat. So there's my two cleaner shrimp. And I still got my uh, my fire shrimp in here pretty cool. The only issues I really got going on right now is uh, I got a little patch of cyano. That's it. It's just on that one little arch right there. So I'm going to try to deal with that. I'm going to up the flow a little bit more here. And I still don't think I have my feeding down right for Scrooge yet. I think I'm still feeding him too much. Alright, well thanks for hanging out. Catch you on the next one. Peace.